Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Rosie if you're new to my channel. If you're not, then it's lovely to have you back. I am starting a new follow along series today. So it's Monday and I like starting things on a Monday as I mean to go on for the rest of the week. Um, so this is going to be a new follow along series for handstands and flexibility. I also did one at the beginning of lockdown for the whole of lockdown. Well, 41 days, <laughs> 41 episodes, so if you want to check that out then there is 41 episodes of that. Um, but this is going to be like a new series so you can follow along and I should be facing 4 to 5 days, probably Monday to Friday every week. So they're just going to be short, quick, simple workouts um, that are going to be aimed at beginners, intermediate, advanced and I hope you guys enjoy them. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Let's get on with the first session. So the first session we're going to be doing today is a handstand conditioning session. Um, as I said, it's about 10 to 15 minute sessions and we're just going to literally blitz through. It's like a little quick kind of like blast. Um, so you should enjoy them. If you need to pause the video, I will be working at quite a fast pace as I find what I like to do in my sessions is have them really efficient. Um, so I do a couple of exercises in a row and then we can go on to the next set of the exercises with a short rest period if you need it. As I said, you can pause the video if you need to do that. Without further ado, let's get on with it. So the first exercise we're going to do today is we are going to do a little bit of a kind of warm up, but not for warm up. So if you haven't warmed up already, then I suggest doing a bit of an aerobic warm up and then warming up the wrists and the shoulders, especially um, anything else if you feel like you want to do a kind of quick dynamic warm up, or maybe I'll link a dynamic warm up in the description. I don't know. <laughs> um, but so we're going to get straight into the exercises and we're going to start off with caterpillar walks. So we're going to do a caterpillar walk and we're going to do a press up at the bottom. Um, you've got three different options with the press ups. So you can either do a press up at the knees, a full press up, or you can do a press up clap. My hair gets in the way. <laughs> Whatever option works for you. And then the caterpillar walk, starting standing, hands are coming into a plank position, you've got your press up. Hands coming back into the feet, walking up the legs and back down into the next one. So we're going to do five in a row to warm up. Then we're going to go straight into an alignment exercise. So we're going to do high in alignment, laying on our back. This isn't the best of the mat. I run suggestions in this mat. Arms above your head. You're going to try and push the back down to the ground, the ribs down to the ground, legs straight, pushing up to the shoulders as if you're in a handstand position. Um, and that is basically what we're going to do. So we're going to do two sets of both exercises. We're going to hold the supine on your back for 30 seconds, five press-ups, five repetitions of the caterpillar walks. So starting standing up, and we're walking into that plank position, all the way into plank, press-up, hands coming into the feet, chest into the legs, arms up, and into the next one. That's one rep. Two. Hands into the feet, arms up, into the next rep. Hands into the feet, arms up, next rep. Two more. Arms up, and last one. And that's five, arms up. And then into our alignment exercise, laying your back. So arms above your head. Back push down to the ground, ribs flat, so trying to create that flat body position, arms should up to the shoulders, legs should be squeezed together, glutes should be squeezed, you should be breathing. We've got 20 seconds left. Keep that body position. And 10. Make sure your back is pushed down to the ground, you shouldn't be able to get your hand underneath your back. Five, four, Three, two, one, relax, coming out of that position. We're getting straight back into the caterpillars. In three, two, one, off we go. So walking into a good plank position, press up, hands coming into the feet, arms up, and the next one, one. Two, legs should be staying straight as the hands come into the legs. Three, Two more. Four, 
Paul and loves them. And fine, and relax, and onto your back, into that little element again. Sit arms above your head, back pushing down to the ground, ribs flat, pushing out through the shoulders if you're in a handstand, squeezing the legs together. And 20 seconds. Keep squeezing the legs and feet together. Back flat down to the ground, ribs flat down to the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So the next two exercises we're going to go into is number one in L position. So you're going to need a bench um, for this. Or a box, and you're gonna put your feet on the bench or box, starting in a plank position. You're gonna walk your hands up into your feet, get into an L position, push up the shoulders, and back into a plank. And walking back up and walking forwards. So we're gonna do four of those in a row. Then in between, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a glute bridge laying on our back. So you've got two options, you've got a normal glute bridge or you've got a single leg glute bridge. So glute bridges, we're going to do 20 in total, so 20 normal or 10 on each side if you're doing single leg, five in a row of the L shape walks. We've got three rounds. So let's get into position. Three, two, one, hands into the feet, pushing up through the shoulders, back into plank one. Pushing up to the shoulders, back into plank two. Pushing up to the shoulders, plank three. So we want to get the hips stacking over the shoulders. Four last one. Plank position and relax. Coming out of that position into our glute bridges. So if you're doing single leg, raising one leg, ten on each side. One or double leg. 20 in total, 2, 3, 4, 5, squeeze the glutes on the top, 8, 9, 10, change sides, 1, hips should be lifting all the way up, 2, facing that pelvic tilt, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, you might double up on the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower back. Two more. Nine, ten, relax. Grab a quick drink if you need to, otherwise we're gonna go straight into the next set. As I said, it's a bit of a blast. We're going through the exercises quickly. Two exercises in a row working different muscle groups, so we're able to do that. So this exercise, we're really focusing on proprioception response of coming into that handstand, so where our body awareness is in the handstand position. So you want to think, think about <laughs> getting the hips over the shoulders, shoulders over the hands. Plank position, hands into the feet, pushing up to the shoulders, back into plank one. Keep that strong core position. Two. Three. Four. Five, coming down onto your back, straight into the glute bridges. Three, two, one, off we go. One, squeeze the glutes to the top. Three, you're pulling in the navel down towards the ground, so engage those pelvic floor muscles. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, change sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep going, nine, ten, relax. So coming out of that position, grab a quick drink if you need it now. We've got one more set to go. Exactly the same to the last set. Hips coming over the shoulders, getting into a good L position, and we begin. 
and one. Up, plank two. Up, plank three. Four, last one. And relax. Onto your back, last set of the glute bridges. Three, two, one, off we go. One, two, three, four, lift those hips. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax, change sides. So the leg in the air should be in line with the, with the knee. Three, four, control and lower down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Well done, guys. Good work. So grab a quick drink again if you need it. And we're going to go on to the next two exercises. Exercise number one, again, we're facing, we're getting the hips stacked over the shoulders. So a little like proprioception work today. And we are gonna go into a handstand flow. So, hands on the ground, legs are straight on the ground. If you're not able to do this, you're gonna need to work on your hand strength ability. Please do comment below and I'll make a separate video on that. So do your best, you may need to start with your legs slightly bent if you can't get your legs straight. Hands forwards, wrist flat on the ground. Again, if you can't do that, then you need to get the work on your wrist mobility. So, weight is coming forwards, hips are lifting, feet are lifting, back down. So, forwards, up, and back down. This is quite an advanced exercise, it's really good for anyone working on presses. If you can't do that exercise, then what I'm going to get you to do instead is a plank position and you're going to do a high to low plank. So you're going to keep doing those until we've done our handstand place. <laughs> I forgot the name of that. And then in between what we're going to do is we're going to come onto our back and we're going to go to hollow rocks. So arms over your head, rocking forwards and backwards. If you can't do a hollow rock, what you're going to do is you're going to do leg lowers, so legs starting from here. Either double leg lowers are the easier option, single leg lowers. Main priority is your lower back stays on the ground the whole time. And again, we're going to be doing 20 hollow rocks. We're going to be doing eight of the handstand floats, or just keep going with the high to low plank. <laughs> so let's make a start, feet on the ground. We've got two sets of these. Hands on the ground, off we go. One. Try and hold for a second at the top. Two. All the way over the shoulders. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Relax onto your back, onto the hollow rocks, arms above your head. All the leg lowers, off we go. One, two, three, four, five. Arms over your wrist. Six, seven, nine, ten. Ten more. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One set down, one to go. <laughs> then we're just going to do two more exercises, two more core exercises to finish off with. So next set, hands on the ground, lifting up the hips and the feet if we can. Otherwise, a high to low plank. Three, two, one, off we go. One. Two, three. The higher you lift the feet, the more intense it's going to be in the shoulders. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And into the hollow rocks onto your back. Step 20, or your leg lowers 20. Off we go. One, arms oh, are ears. Two, Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice work guys, really good. So the last two exercises we're going to do today are number one kick-ups and then the second one is back extensions. So for the kick-ups you can either do them on the floor or against the wall. What you're doing, you're kicking one leg up into the handstand, coming back down, that's it. One leg up, back down. Or you can go against the wall. And if you're doing it against the wall, you're kicking one foot to the wall and back down. One foot to the wall and back down. So you've got two options. Then for the back extension, you're laying your front. You're keeping the feet together, hands by the head, up into a back arch, and back down. And down. So we're going to do 10 hold for 10 of those. Let's make a start. So we're going to do five kick ups into back extensions, either on the floor or on the wall. Three, two, one, off we go. One. Two. So you're really focused on that stack position, we focused on the other exercises. Three. Try and hold for a second, use the fingers. Four, last one. Five. And onto your front back extension, set of ten. Feet together, arms where you're at. Up, one. Up, two. Lifting as high as you can. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, keep lifting. Eight. Nine. And hold for ten. As high as you can. Keep lifting the chest and the legs. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, relax. And we've got another set, grab a quick drink, pause the video, and then let's go. In three, two, one, and one, two, three, two more, four, last one, five, and relax. Onto your front back extensions. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold for ten. High as you can, feet of the chest. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Well then guys, really good work today. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that first session. And we're going to keep going with these episodes. So you're going to get a lot stronger, a lot more flexible. The next session we do will be a flexibility session. Any specifics you want me to focus on, please do let me know. And I'll try my best to do that. And have a lovely day. <laughs>